Hey guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I want to show you how to install the PixelK DMD feature specifically for Pinup Popper. So what you want to do is go to pixelk.org, click on download, and click on PixelK Pinball DMD. And then let's go ahead and get the installer. Click on PixelK DMD installer. Okay, so then let's just go ahead and run the install. And the first thing you need to answer is whether or not you want to install this thing called Freezy DMD extensions. So there's a guy by the name of Freezy, and he wrote this really cool middleware that basically interfaces between the pinball emulator and physical DMD hardware. So that's what Freezy does in case you're wondering. If you already have a pinball build, like let's say for example, you already have an LCD based DMD and you want to add an LED based DMD, you probably already have Freezy DMD installed. So in that case, I would choose no. If, for example, you're running on an Arcade One pinball image, you already have Freezy DMD installed, and that's already configured for an LCD DMD, so you'd want to pick no. But if you don't have Freezy installed, this is like a, a new pinball build installed, and you want to hit yes. Either way, you have to have Freezy installed, otherwise this isn't going to work. So let's hit yes in this case. And then the next thing is, this is very important, that this has to install in your vpin main folder. Now the installer is somewhat intelligent. It's actually gonna search your hard drive and look for a vpin main folder. If it finds that, great. If not, then you just manually tell it where it is, depending on if it found a certain file. So in this case it did. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and install it here. All right, so now at this point, um, and I forgot to mention this earlier, you need to have your BitPixel or your Pixel Kate LED marquee plugged in via USB. So when you do that, it's going to pull up this from Device Manager, look in the Ports section, and you want to look for something that says USB Serial Device. And so that's going to be your Pixel Kate or your BitPixel. Now note, if you've got extra hardware like Sindin guns, for example, you might see another setting that says USB Serial Device on a different COM port. So in that case, what you need to do is unplug, unplug one of them and then figure out which one you're dealing with. So in this case, it's easy. There's only one, so I know it's five. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type in five. And also important, I'm not typing in COM5. I'm just typing in the number five, as the instructions say up here. So we do that. tells us, okay, great, we're using COM5. And then the next step here is we need to tell it what kind of pixel cade we have. If you've got, for example, a bit pixel, you're going to hit yes. If you have a traditional Pixel K DMD, which is the smallest Pixel K, what we call a P2.5, then you would hit no. So in this case, I'm going to hit yes. Okay, are we using Pinup Popper? Yes. Okay, some pop ups are going to come up here. Let's just close this for the moment or minimize it. And then we need to tell it actually where our Pinup Popper is. So typically, you know, you may have it in a if you did a, a big baller install, you may have it under the vpinball directory. In this case, it's under pinup system. And then you're just going to look for pinupplayer.exe. So click that. That tells the installer where your pinup player is. And then what it's going to do at this point is going to change a couple things. It's going to enable the, uh, the DMD, the hardware DMD. And then it's going to download, and this is, this is all free, it's going to download all the artwork that is specifically for pinup popper. And so while this is downloading, let me just explain to you what's happening here. So what it's gonna do automatically, this will save you a lot of time, is it's going to, since we told it where a pinup popper folder is, it's going to download the respective artwork, sorry, going kind of fast here, into your pop media folder. So if you go into pop media, and let's say I go into visual pinball, I click on DMD, it's gonna copy all of that artwork into that folder automatically. So that's what this is doing. All right, so what's happening now is the installer has downloaded the artwork. It's then gonna unzip it. And so we'll just give this a sec. And now it's actually copying the artwork into those pop media folders. All right, so we're all done with that. Now, if you've already set up Pixel K DMD, you can skip this step. But if this is the first time you're setting it up, there's a couple extra manual steps that we need to do. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit OK here. I'm going to launch the web page and it's going to tell us what to do. So go ahead and scroll down to the pinup popper section. And we need to add this uh, command to the launch script for the various emulators. So let's just go in order. Let's start with FX2. So what you want to do is it's going to launch pinup popper setup for you automatically as well. Go into popper setup. I can close this window here and close this. So go into popper setup, emulators, and then let's just do one at a time. So I'll do FX2 and then specifically click on launch script. And then I like to put this right after the echo off statement, but it, it doesn't really matter. You can put it at the top if you want. So just go ahead and paste that command in. And what this does, just to let you know, is as you're switching different emulators, we have to send like a start and a quit command to Pixelcade or BitPixel. So it can automatically switch when you're going from FX3 to Visual Pinball, the future pinball. That's what these extra utilities do, just in case you're wondering. So that's one. Let's do the next one. This is for FX3. And just copy and paste. FX3, again, launch script. Put it right after the echo off statement. Hit save here at the bottom. Get a future pinball. And same thing right here. And then just note that for visual pinball, visual pinballs actually uses a thing called the DLL, so you don't have to do this extra utility. So in case you're wondering why we're not doing anything for visual pinball, that's why. Um, I don't have pinball arcade on this particular um, build but if i did i could do that one as well and then let's copy this one this is a utility we need to put in the closed script box for each one so again we'll just do one at a time let's start at the top so future pinball closed script we can add this one actually at the end so paste that in same thing for fx2 fx3 And again, Visual Pinball, we don't have to do anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit close. And we can exit the setup. Um, now what we can do, let's close this down, is we can just double check that everything installed correctly. So if you go back to your pinup popper folder, so let's find that here, and go to pop media. Let's start with Visual Pinball. Just go to DMD. And then if you see the all these pings, actually I, I cheated here because I already installed all the GIFs, so I'm gonna just show you how this works. I'm gonna actually delete those because we haven't actually installed the art pack yet. And the art pack is what installs the animated marquees, which are GIFs. So let me just nuke those. And so at this point, you'll just see a bunch of ping files like this, right? So I can double click on one. This just shows you what it looks like. That's all the artwork that's, again, that's free, it's included. A lot of time went into all that artwork, so I hope you enjoy it. That's all touched up pixel by pixel. So now at this point, and again, this is optional. If you want to get the paid art pack, go here, go to all apps. This is Windows 11, but just go to program files if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 7. Find your Pixelcade DMD pinball folder and look for an icon called Pixelcade Pinup Popper Art Pack Install Paid. Okay. Now, by the way, if you wanted to run the normal art pack updater, which is free, and you wanted to get the latest artwork, then you would just run this. You tell it where your pinup player is, and then it's going to launch this and get that latest artwork. So this is the same thing that ran during the installer. Let's just go ahead and exit this since we already installed it. But I just wanted to show that to you because that's how you can get the latest and greatest artwork that, again, is totally free. So at this point though, let's get that paid art pack. Then what you first need to do is go ahead and purchase the art pack. So it's gonna tell you the URL to go ahead and get that. So just pop open a browser, go to download, LED art pack for pinup popper, and then there's the buy button here. So just go ahead and click this guy, uh, go ahead and purchase it. Once you purchase it, you'll get an on-screen license code. So just take a note of that code. And then back here, we'll just type that code in. Okay, and then now we need to tell it where our pinup popper 
player is located. So this is basically telling uh, the installer where to install the files because at the end of the day, it's going to install them in your pop media folder is what's going to happen here. So we tell it where pinup player is. And then it's going to go ahead and download that artwork from the repo, unzip it, and then copy it into your pop media folders. So that one runs pretty quick. So I'll show you how you know that it worked. So if you go to pinup system, go to pop media, and then it would have installed some in Visual Pinball X. So if you go here and then you notice now you see a bunch of GIF files. These are animated GIFs. You may need to just sort and just look at the top to see the GIFs. So if you see the GIFs, you know the install worked correctly. You've got all those extra animated marquees. Same thing for FX3 and same thing for future pinball. And then at this point, you're good to go. Just go ahead and launch pinup player as normal and you'll see all that extra artwork on those select tables. All right, so one last thing that this is really important is that one thing you have to be aware of with this, the way this works, is that the file name of the artwork actually has to match the ROM name. And so I've renamed this based on an image I have, but the ROM names you have may be a different convention. So therefore, if you run it, you may not see Let's say you bought the art pack, you may not see an animated marquee or even just some of the static ping images that are included may not show up for the game. So if that happens, uh, not the end of the world, but here's what you need to do. It's a little bit of extra work. So go to pin up menu, pin up popper setup and go to media manager. And so let's just pick one. So let's say, for example, and I just kind of dummy one up here. So if I go to Austin Powers. I know for this game there's an animated marquee, but if I click on this, and by the way, you want to click on DMD, see it's only showing the ping file. So that means for whatever reasons, um, the file is actually there, but the, the name con naming convention is off. So that happens, no problem. So just go here and let's go to the artwork. So pin up system, pop media, visual pinball X. And then what I did was I actually just rename that to something else. I called it, let's see, where is it? Okay, so I just I just called it some other game, right? So this could be any file, but I know like if I click on it, this is the actual Austin Powers GIF. So all you need to do, this is actually a pretty nice feature of Pin Up Popper, is just simply drag it right there, and then it's automatically gonna rename it with the file that you need. So it'll still keep the old one. We could delete this if we want to. I'll just do that just to keep it clean. But now if I go scroll up and look for Austin Powers, I see both the ping and the GIF. So that trick works for both ping and, and GIF files. That's what you wanna do if you have a bunch of games that don't have artwork. So for example, I'll just pick a couple at random here. As you can see, like this one, I know it doesn't have an animated GIF, so that's correct. But if you wanted to add your own artwork, if you created your own animation, then just do that same trick. And when you pick that game, it'll play that. And then notice that if there's both a GIF and a ping, I believe how this works is it plays the first one per alphabetical order. So since G becomes, becomes before P, it's gonna play the GIF, it's not gonna play the ping, which is exactly what we want. So um, again, that's how you can correct any missing artwork and probably you'll have to do that. So uh, important one I want you to be aware of. Like if you go ahead and launch it and the, the DMD is not working, here's the first thing I would do to troubleshoot. So I'd go here, go to your C drive, go to Visual Pinball, go to VPIN MAME, and we want to look for a file called dmddevice.ini. This, it turns out, for Pixelcade is a very important file because this is where, remember when you went through that installer wizard, that's where the COM port gets set. So if I scroll down here, I go to the Pixelcade section. This is what my script did for you automatically, but in case something happened, or this is actually quite common, if you move Pixelcade to a different USB port, the COM port will change. So it's on six now. If I move it to another port, it maybe changes to eight or some other number. Then you gotta remember to go in here and change this as well. So that's an important troubleshooting trick. 
And uh, so just make sure Pixelcade is enabled. You've got the right COM port. And then another little trick I can show you is there's actually a little command line test we can run. This is really good for troubleshooting purposes. So I'm going to go out to the command line. We can go ahead and type that in. So it's DMD XT. We want to do a test. Com port. In this case, it was six, and then minus D pixel kit. Okay. So hit that. And then if you see this, if it says found pixel kit on comp six and you see those hardware IDs, basically you're good to go. So now pixel kit is recognized. The software finds it. And then it's just a matter of, of, of going through the other steps that I showed you earlier. You should be fine. As always, thanks for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just drop a comment. Thanks a lot.